Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire by Diane de Groot. Gilbert was having a bad day. His class had been reading stories about famous people, and now Mrs. Bird wanted them to make up plays to show what they had learned. Gilbert didn't want to be in a play. He was sure he would get nervous and make a mistake. Even worse, Mrs. Bird stuck him in a group with know-it-all Philip and bossy Margaret. Let's do a play about George Washington, the cherry tree, Philip suggested. Okay, said Margaret. I'll be George Washington. I should be the president, Philip said, because I'm the best student in the class. I said it first, Margaret insisted. Gilbert just wanted to be the cherry tree, so he wouldn't have any lines. Mrs. Bird settled it by writing the parts on slips of paper and having them each pick one. To his surprise, Gilbert picked George Washington, Margaret picked George's father, and Philip was the cherry tree. Mrs. Bird opened a big box of costumes. You can practice your plays now, and we'll share them with the class tomorrow, she said. She gave Lewis a tall black hat for his role as Abraham Lincoln. Patty wanted to be Sally Ride, so she got a motorcycle helmet that looked just like part of a spacesuit. Mrs. Bird handed Gilbert a three-cornered hat. When Gilbert put it on, he felt better. Maybe he would be a good George Washington after all. During practice, Gilbert pretended to chop trees for firewood. Then he chopped at Philip's leg. Philip said, ow, and dropped to the floor. Margaret came up to Gilbert and said, oh no, my favorite little cherry tree has been chopped down. Tell me who has done this horrible thing. Gilbert held up his paper axe and said, Um, me? That's not the way it was in the book, Philip said. You're supposed to say, I cannot tell a lie. I cut down your cherry tree. I am sorry. Margaret added, Then I say, because you told the truth, I will not punish you. Philip sighed, I still think I should be George Washington. For the rest of the day, Gilbert practiced his lines. At lunch, Patty asked him what kind of sandwich he had, and Gilbert replied, I cannot tell a lie. It is peanut butter and jelly. During arithmetic, Mrs. Bird asked him to add six and six. Gilbert said, I cannot tell a lie. The answer is 12. Gilbert wanted to practice at home too, with the hat. When no one was looking, he slipped it in his book bag. Gilbert wore the hat to sup the supper table and announced, I cannot tell a lie, I'm starving. His sister Lola said, me too. Try this soup, mother said, passing a bowl. It's a new recipe. Gilbert took a spoonful and said, I cannot tell a lie, I don't like it. Lola put her spoon down and said, yucky soup. Then Gilbert said, I cannot tell a lie. Lola is a big copycat. Lola started to cry and mother said, that's enough, Gilbert. But it's the truth, Gilbert said. Mother sighed and said, sometimes it's better to say nothing than to hurt other people's feelings. Gilbert groaned. It was hard being George Washington. Before getting ready for bed, Gilbert carefully tucked the hat into his backpack so he could take it back to school in the morning. He didn't want Mrs. Bird to notice it was gone. He took a bath and brushed his teeth, repeating his lines over and over so he wouldn't forget them. When Gilbert walked to school with Patty the next morning, he said, I've been practicing my part, but I'm still nervous about making a mistake. I just know that Bully Lewis is going to laugh at me. I promise not to laugh if you ever make a mistake, Patty said. And Gilbert said, I cannot tell a lie, Patty. You are a good friend. When it was time to get ready for the play, Gilbert opened his backpack and reached inside. He felt his spelling book and his notebook, but he didn't feel his three-cornered hat. It was gone. Just then, Margaret asked, Where's your hat, Gilbert? It's not in the box. Gilbert quickly said, I didn't take it. Margaret said, I bet Philip took it. 
He wanted to be George Washington. Philip, Gilbert said. If it wasn't in his backpack, someone must have taken it, and it must have been Philip. But I didn't take it, Philip said. Liar, Margaret shouted. Liar, liar, pants on fire, Gilbert sang. Lewis heard him and asked, Who's on fire? Frank said, There's a fire. Patty ran to Mrs. Bird shouting, The school's on fire. Mrs. Bird said, I didn't hear the fire alarm. But that's what Frank said, Patty replied. It must be true. I heard it from Lewis, Frank said. I heard it from Gilbert, said Lewis. He said something was on fire. Gilbert sighed. All I said was, liar, liar, pants on fire. And Philip shouted, I did not take George Washington's hat. Mrs. Bird opened a shopping bag. Here's the hat, Gilbert. Your mother just brought it in. You know you weren't supposed to take it home. Oops, Gilbert said, turning red. I was going to bring it back. Margaret pointed her finger. You lied about taking the hat, Gilbert. Philip almost got in trouble. Gilbert turned to Philip and handed him the hat. I'm sorry, he said. You were right. I'm not a very good George Washington. You should have the part. But Philip handed it back, saying, It's okay, Gilbert. You said you were sorry, just like Washington. My beard itches, Lewis complained. Are we going to do our plays or not? As each group did their play, Gilbert grew more and more nervous. When Patty the astronaut tripped over her space boots, Lewis and some of the other kids laughed. Gilbert didn't laugh. He knew he might mess up too. But when it was Gilbert's turn, he said his lines without a single mistake. And that's the truth.